Welcome to the Live Doppler 10 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Brandon Rue. And I'm meteorologist Carlos Gonzalez. You know, a lot of the weather magic that you see at home takes place from right here in the Doppler 10 Weather Center. But really, it all begins out at the Live Doppler radar site. Let's go take a look. We're here at the radar site. It's in a secured location at Bolton Field, about 10 miles south of downtown Columbus. 10TV is the only station in town with its own live functional Doppler radar. Let's check it out. Lucy, we're home. I like what you've done with the place. This is the heart of the operation, the actual brains of the radar system. And radar has been around basically since the invention of radio. In fact, radar stands for radio detection and ranging. Now all the computers that you see in this room take all the data from the radar, crunch those numbers, and give us the final product that we see at home on our televisions. Let's go upstairs and check out another important piece of equipment. Top of the tower we go. Oh yeah, this is the fun part, 323 steps straight up. I don't think I'm going to make it. <laughs> Come on, you can make it. You can do it. I can't make it. Well, we made it, and this is what we came to see. So we showed you the equipment downstairs, the transmitter and the receiver. Now, this is the actual antenna, and as it spins around, this corresponds with the sweeping motion that you see on our actual graphic map with the Doppler 10 radar. And we can control the tilt of the antenna, depending on what kind of weather is approaching. If there are thunderstorms in the distance, we might want to tilt it a little bit higher. And this antenna sends out and receives the signals before they go downstairs. Really, it's what happens to those signals out in the atmosphere that defines what Doppler radar is. All right, let's talk about Doppler and exactly how it works. Ready? Okay, number one, hello, this is you. Hi. Let's say that you're standing around and way far away there's an approaching train. That's the sound that the train makes. Now, as the sound waves of that train get all the way up to where you are to hear it, well, because it's far away, it sounds quiet at first. As the train gets closer, the sound waves become more compacted and closer together, making it sound much louder to you, which is probably not so pleasant. Now, just the same, let's say that we have a storm, and it's way far away. Here's the rain. Our Doppler, which is totally awesome, sends out waves until they find that storm. Now the waves bounce off and return to the Doppler. And once they get back, based on the time it takes for the waves to return and how compact the waves are, the Doppler is able to judge the distance, size, and motion of the storm, which is then translated into a graphical representation. And you get that at home. Easy, huh? At WBNS 10 TV, we're proud to own our own live Doppler radar because when you do and you're tracking storm clouds, that information gets processed immediately. When severe weather strikes and your family's safety is at risk, every second counts. Other stations, they may wait up to four to five minutes before that information gets to you. <laughs> Suckers. Oh, hey, Brandon, don't you think they've suffered enough by not having their own live Doppler?